Hello friends and welcome to the Navigator of the Seas. Today we are going to do an entire top to bottom, forward to aft ship tour. I am so excited to share this video with you. Navigator has a special warm place in my heart. I love this ship. I'm excited to take you through. So if you've been on the ship or you have specific questions throughout the video, drop them in the comments so we can get to all of the juicy goodness. And a special thank you to today's video sponsor, eMed. Currently, testing is still a requirement to get on board a cruise ship. We had to do it so I could get on board and show you this video of the ship tour, and you'll have to do it too before enjoying your cruise vacation. So let's get started and show you how simple and easy it is to use these e-med tests before your cruise vacation. Getting tested is really simple with the e-med tests, and they were cool enough to sponsor today's video. So we're gonna show you just how you can bring your test kits along if you're traveling, and we're gonna be tested for our cruise and we're going to get some results right to our email inbox that I will show tomorrow. So easy enough actually, uh, it has a QR code you can just scan your QR code and it pulls up the ID knowing that this test kit, uh, which, which it is and, but I'm going to actually use my laptop today to show you how we are going to get started with the test. So we're going to log in with our access ID. If not, you can just simply create an account with your email. So who's taking the test? I am. So one thing to help you breeze through the process of taking your test is making sure that you have your ID available and out because they will ask for that. And we're gonna go ahead and pull that out and say that we're doing this for travel and answering a couple more questions and then a live person will come on in just a minute. It's checking my speakers, my microphone and my camera and now it's made sure that I have a strong enough internet connection and now we're ready to start the test. So look at that, how cool. 15 minutes, the clock has now started. I can see that the test is already starting to work here and we will come back in a few minutes and get our results. We're starting today here in deck 14. Amazing lounge here. This is the Viking Crown Lounge and I'm gonna show you everything you need to know but I'm gonna tell you a couple story times throughout today's video as well. So let's get started today's video here on the Navigator of the Seas. But here in the Viking Crown Lounge is an area where it'll really come to life throughout the day. So you can basically see a lot uh, nightclub action in the late evenings, uh, a lot of fun. They have a bar up here as well. And then additionally, the Suite Lounge is where if you have status with Royal Caribbean, you can use that area and enjoy. I'll tell you a quick story that the Suite Lounge is actually where one this is why this, this ship gets emotional for me because I was on this ship two other times. And as we walk on through from the Cosmopolitan Club, see that, there we go. That's why they call it some of the nightlife. Uh, but that is Sweet Lounge is where I did some of my earliest videos on my channel and some of the videos that maybe you have found me from. So kind of cool to uh, reminisce in a sense that I was filming in there my Super Mario videos way back when. So if you found me through my Super Mario videos, I wanna know. But we're gonna take a little peek up here as well. It's an experience like any escape room. They're fun, they're timed. Um, you can have a team, you can just be a party of two and you can try and link with other people that are looking to do that. Now we are here on deck 13. If you dare, come follow us along on the sports court here. I will kind of admit, that these are the best water slides in the entire fleet. You'll know why when you see them. Let's go check it out. So we have the Perfect Storm, the Blaster, and the Riptide. So the Blaster and the Riptide are actually mat and raft water slides. And then we also have the Living Room, which is a teen club in the back here. It has this really cool secret entrance. And then the Flow Rider and Basketball Courts. Here's another map as how it's all kind of laid out for us here. Uh, 
looping back all around. So we'll just pick a side and we'll show you what's what. So I just really love the colors. We're actually walking right under one of the water slides at the moment as well. Up here with these statues are part of the suite lounge. And then also the rock climbing wall, which is right over here as well. So uh, if you're a suite member, you can hang out in some of the fresh air as well on that open area. And then so we have the basketball court. This is where the one riptide water slide ends. And this is one where you grab a mat and you will slide on down. Something that I think is really cool as well is that it actually goes over the side of the ship. When we get a little closer, you can kind of see. Uh, here's the mats that you'll grab and then you run around to the other side for the starting point. But what's super cool is this clear area. Now it's a little morning fog at the moment, so you can't necessarily see super through. It's like dewy and misty and uh, kind of wet out. But that clear section right there is super cool because you're going over the side of the ship. And then so when it clears up, you can see people go exactly through it down on their mat. It's a lot of fun. Walking over onto this side is the Flow Rider. The Flow Rider has different hours throughout the day and throughout the cruise where you can do standing Flow Rider, it's wave surfing along with kneeling. I actually have a friend who brings his own board on board because he loves the sport so much and that it is so much fun. Just make sure you don't lose your swim trunks or your uh, bathing suit top because I've seen it happen. <laughs> And here is the other water slide as well. So we climb up top here for the perfect storm, all the way up there to grab those water slides, and then they shoot out up here for starting. Uh, this is what's really cool about this one, as you can see the bright pink and the bright yellow and how uh, colorful and fun they are. But this one actually has some netting uh, covering it. So it's covering the end of it here, but the pink part is actually where you go over the side of the ship. So really exhilarating with, with how it wraps all around. I think that is my opinion, what makes these slides here on the Navigator of the Seas the best in the fleet. I think it's very exciting and exhilarating. So additionally here on this deck, we have the uh, ping pong, your way to get up to rock climbing, just a lot of fun. All right, so this is what's actually really cool and almost like hard a little bit intentionally to find is the living room. So this is the teen club on board here. So deck 13 was right above us, right next to the flow rider. So whipped back around so I could show you the living room here. So this is the outside area. This is for your teens. It's called the backyard. We'll show you around. It's really cute. This area is if you are looking to find the spin classes, more free weights, things like that. Uh, the classes do cost money if you're looking to do any of the classes with the bikes and things like that. You have to sign up for them. So now we've walked through the one side of the arcade and we're on the other side. And this is where we have the Royal BBs and Tots in this area. So this is for the youngest cruisers on board. This is uh, zero to up to three. And then we have this area here of Adventure Ocean for the big oak, bigger kiddos on board. And this area was completely revamped in the Royal 
amplification. So here we are on deck 12 outside with the beautiful colorful casitas, but you'll see right down the lane here, it's our magic red carpet. This is the jogging track. So if you are looking to get a little bit of exercise, the jogging track is where you can come early in the morning and really get your laps in without a lot of people around. What I love about uh, this deck here is these hot tubs or jacuzzis, whatever you want to call it, but they are nice and warm. We got in one the other day, splish splash, look at that all to yourself so one on this side here another one on that side we can say hello to the lifeguard good morning <laughs> uh, but a lot of fun and just gorgeous with all of the lounge chairs and again the kids splash pad area and we'll keep on moving through what's also really nice about the uh, resort style pool here is that they have these uh, clam shells so we have uh, this lounger here and then other colorful loungers with uh, the padded seating and then we'll show you a bit more on this side which I think is also particularly nice if you are a suite member if you're staying in a suite on the cruise this is something you want to look to make sure that you know this is an option for you to enjoy so if you want to have some extra comfy uh, padded chairs this is where they have some of it so this sign says sweet sun deck so uh, the back side of it isn't but these particular chairs are for sweet guests and pinnacle pinnacle club members only i haven't honestly seen anybody like card anybody for this but it is uh, something for you to enjoy uh, this area actually comes to life quite a bit this is the lime and coconut bar so if you are looking for some fun during sail away this is where the dj will set up over here and you can hang out in the lime and coconut the lime and coconut on the navigator is spectacular why because we're standing right next to the bar here this is the second floor very colorful beautiful area but if we look on up we can also see another area and this is somewhere i encourage you to check out for some really awesome vantage points of the ship but let me not just talk about it let me show you the lime and coconut rooftop. So up top here on the rooftop, I feel like it's always just such a vibe here with these beautiful chairs. You can overlook onto if there's playing a movie, what's going on in the pool, great vantage points of what's happening throughout the ship with if you're in port and enjoying all of the different sites and just kind of hanging out. Uh, you know, a lot of times I feel like you can come up here and kind of have a private moment in a sense of enjoying this area to yourself but we'll move on through and show you a bit more of the other side of the ship here because there's more to see so here is navigator dunes we're jumping up one to show you here in the forward of the front of the ship all these loungers great spot now this is actually a quieter area the music doesn't really travel into this area so you can kind of have more peaceful moments without uh, the music, these clamshells as well, for you can hang out in these loungers. Uh, this actually is a mister. So if you're looking to cool off because you're sitting in these loungers, you're baking in the sun, you're working on your tan, but if you're looking to uh, cool off, you push this little button here. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Ooh, that feels good. I kind of want to run through that right now. But this area is called Navigator Dunes. So this is the putt-putt on board, hence Navigator, Navigator of the Seas. Fun fact, they're all called something dunes. Insert name of ship here, dunes. So very fun if you're looking to play. It's a free activity on board and they have all the different holes and this is so cute. I love the, the design of it. So we'll move on through the other area. They have all the balls and the uh, putts putters in the one area there. I'm not sure if I'm even calling that the right thing because I'm not a golfer, I'm not sure myself. But we'll move on through and show you more of the spa and more in the forward of the ship. So it's worth noting as we come down from Navigator Dunes, we're moving on into deck 12 and this is a guest hallway. So as we move out of that guest hallway, what's kind of cool is to know is that those staterooms are actually new they were an addition to the ship when the ship got remodeled revamp revamped royally amplified as royal caribbean likes to call it and that's pretty cool in the sense that they're updated they're brand new and a difference is that 
the doors are actually white instead of pink. So if you have a choice and they are available, these are some great staterooms. Everything else is great as well. And I'll actually insert some stateroom tours down in the link below or up here in the eye in the sky. So you can see those as well if you want to see some more from ocean views and balconies. So if that's interesting to you and you want to see some of the comparisons, I do have uh, what these newer rooms look like. Uh, but now we're in front of the Vitality Spa. This is where if you want to come, relounge, get a scrub, get a massage, a facial. Let's go check it out. Now, some of my best tips for the spa is actually to take note of the sales and promotions and things like that. You can always book the spa ahead of time prior to your cruise. And if that's something that is available to you when you see a deal, you can do so. But I always like to make note that if you have status, you do get a discount. And also if you are wishy-washy in a sense of not sure if you want to have a spa experience, you can hold off and basically see throughout the cruise, a lot of times and days that the ship is in a port of call, they'll have a sale or it'll be a little bit cheaper. Once you get on board, you can ask because people get off the ship. So if you're saying you're going to a one port of call and you're not actually going to get off, that's an option for you because less people will be booked in the spa that day. But here's a look. Treatment rooms on board and the massage tables and the estheticians that will help you. So you can take a look at all of that. All right, so now we are on deck 12, the solarium. Wow. So here in the solarium, there's one jacuzzi on this side, but the main pool here. So when you're on deck 12, they can look on into this area as well. It's just really nice. They also have the solarium bar here. So you don't have to go far to grab yourself a drink. Uh, on a sea day, I have to say the solarium is an area that is favorable to a lot of cruisers. They enjoy hanging out in this area because uh, it's just a really nice place to chill and relax, enjoy some of the views. But now we're just walking the pool deck. Have you noticed how colorful all these chairs are and these loungers here? And of course, the casitas, the rest of the lime and coconut bar, and those water loungers there that are kind of stacked up and in the pool, nice comfy area. One of my favorite quick service restaurants on board, El Loco Fresh. Now this is a really delicious spot to grab a bite for lunch. They not only have quesadillas, chicken and cheese, and but this is included in your cruise fare and rather tasty. I recommend that you visit the salsa station as well. So something else here, another food service on this side is Johnny Rocket. So if you're into your burgers, your shakes, your fries, and your fun, as Johnny Rockets would say, this is something that you can check out. Now the difference with this is it's not included in your cruise fare. It is for just a bit of a nominal fee for you to enjoy. Now we are at the entrance of the Windjammer, which also has Jamie's Italian and Chops Grill. These are the two specialty dining restaurants on board along with the buffet. So this is where you can grab breakfast, lunch, and dinner in the Windjammer here with all the different type of offerings that they have. It's breakfast time, so it's a little bit busy inside. We'll show you the different types of food that they have, but something to note that I think a lot of people also might forget is that if you wanna have a little bit of a slower breakfast or a slower lunch, the main dining room is also an option for you to eat in, not just for dinner. So they'll have certain hours and operation. It's actually listed here as well for the hours for the windjammer, but also the hours for the main dining room. So if you're wanting to really feel on vacation and be waited on for those meals as well, it's an option. Let's go inside and show you some of what the food spread looks like in the windjammer along with the specialty restaurants. Now this is what's really cool as well if you're on a sweet cabin or if you're a Pinnacle member, you can enjoy breakfast in Chops. So Chops is the signature steakhouse of Royal Caribbean here. So they have all of the seating area. And I think what's cool is dining in here, not only just for dinner, but also for breakfast. So they have uh, an open kitchen as well and an extended area into the back there so you can make your reservations and enjoy this restaurant 
super cool. So now we'll jump over onto the other side as well and you'll see Jamie's Italian. So here we have all of the breakfast area, part of Windjammer. The buffets will continue on into the aft of the ship there, but we'll have uh, Jamie's Italian so we can see on into if you're enjoying or interested in enjoying any uh, pasta delicious Italian food this is the spot this is an area where you can hang out and enjoy reading a book if you didn't bring any or check out all of the games and cards that they have for you it's also uh, kind of an area here on deck seven here in the aft that is just an open space it's open out to the two hallways to the left and to the right here what's fun about cruising is you get addicted and you want to score some of the best deals of your cruise which leads us to the next cruise desk a lot of cruisers will take advantage of booking another cruise while they're on board here with the next cruise desk so royal caribbean will help you and show you all the different type of itineraries and offerings that they have here so if you want to book on board save up to 600 dollars that's saying uh, know about certain itineraries and things like that this is one of the hacks that you could use for booking your cruise but if you're not on a cruise ship right now and you want to book and you want to save some money i encourage you to check out MEI Travel, our travel partners, and they can help you get started on booking your next cruise vacation. Uh, they're fantastic, and I really recommend that you do check them out. So I'll leave all their information detailed down below, but have a look here and just oh, wish you were here. This is gorgeous. So right below us is guest services to the right, a beautiful chandelier and passing right on through the Royal Promenade. Absolutely gorgeous. And if we look on up, we see artwork as well and it leads us back up to where we were on deck 12 and the pool decks up above so we'll take you on through and show you the rest the dining room here is on deck three four and five so this is where they have all the different uh dining areas so depending on if you do early or late seating 5 30 or 8 or if you choose my time dining kind of is how they generally split up the different floors of the dining room here so we're on the top floor currently so we have a good vantage point of how gorgeous the dining room is here look at that chandelier and how pretty it really is so down on deck three right now oh something to note as well as we had x-ray vision into past the chandelier directly into the highest area here is the chef's table now it's not all set up because currently they keep it kind of closed up so it doesn't get messy and it's ready for them to service in the evening have you ever heard about the chef's table have you experienced it before can you believe that even after all my cruises i've never experienced the chef table it's still on my bucket list i need to try it uh, they also have some incredible wine pairing as well but it is a fee that you pay roughly around 80 90 dollars or so come hungry skip lunch that day if you're gonna try that it's a lot of food but we'll move on through onto deck five here onto the royal promenade so here we have the r bar this is an area that has a really cute kind of photo op with a frame here where you can take some fun pictures like they're doing i like that spot i've taken my picture there before there's the bar as well here good area and then directly across is guest services here we are at the royal promenade here kind of like the heart of the ship is what i like to call it and we can walk forward and aft aft to forward here we are for reference to enjoy this is where you will go if you need help with the wi-fi if you want to purchase any of the duty free some of the fine shopping on board if you're looking to get some jewelry and watches now we are in port right now so these shops are closed but once you are back out at sea you have the opportunity to check them out as well so they are closed in port but we'll open it again tonight when we pull out here's the bamboo room now this is one of my favorite watering holes on board because it is a beautiful vibe so we have uh led walls here that make it feel like you're in view viewing the, the great water <laughs> 
tiki time and there is uh, watch out for some parrots who will come to life here hanging out and enjoying all the colorful chairs and then if you're looking for some of the drinks that are really kind of worth noting from the bamboo room we'll show you the menu because i think this is kind of cool they have a really interesting menu on the run is a fun drink it comes in a plastic uh pouch there kind of looks like an adult capri sun if you will so really fun or a bamboo swizzle that's just fun to say isn't it so we'll walk on through this is where we have a uh, staircase down into casino royale so if you're a gambler here's one of the entry points as well or you just head on down to deck four clove and clipper is an area that comes to life during the uh, afternoon and evening live music this is often just like a one-man show here with some musicians strumming their guitar and the bar area here a fun spot to hang out now this is what's cool and only on the navigator of the seas is to drive for good morning so this is a fun salon that you can enjoy blowouts and uh, all the different type of services that they offer here it's right here on the royal promenade and they have a uh, really unique unique idea because it is an addition to the spa and salon that's upstairs so uh, this is a whole other experience that they offer different type of services And this is what's different. Cafe Promenade is combined with Sorrento's. You don't see a Sorrento sign. Uh, when it's not breakfast time, they have the pizza that's back there. If you're gluten-free, they also have pizza that is gluten-free. You can uh, make any of that upon request. Now, I want to know, do you guys like having Cafe Promenade and Sorrento separate and different? Does it bother you or do you prefer to have them separate or together? In my opinion, I prefer to have them separate but I still love this ship anyway, even though that it is together. I just think they're two fun vibes and I enjoy it. And I'm always like, oh yeah, they're together. What's your opinion? Let me know down below. And moving through on deck five here, we're gonna head on over and show you the Star Lounge. So if you are a, again, status member, this is a, a lounge that you can enjoy and hang out in and have some additional R &R. but here in this area is where you'll find some of the game shows come to life they have the bar they have a great sitting area here game shows or even perhaps bingo in this lounge as well some fun also i've seen dancing in here different type of activities throughout the day and the evenings it's showtime <laughs> Now we are in the Royal Theater. So we're on deck four. Also down deck three is seating area as well. This is where here on the Navigator of the Seas, you can enjoy some showgirls, some fun entertainment on board. Also, you'll see some variety acts here as well. Maybe some juggling comedian duos. You can see uh, just regular comedians as well in this lounge as well. And I have to say, not every theater has this, but it actually has these little cutouts in the seating here for your drinks. So that's kind of cool. One little small detail there that I appreciate that not every theater on a cruise ship has. So now if you are a seafood lover, Hooked is where you will want to make sure that you enjoy some of this specialty dining restaurant on board here. Alaska salmon, drunken mussels, lobster, Yum. -y. I love seafood. Let's take a look on inside. Hooked here is a smaller, more intimate venue. I enjoy this area here with all of the seating areas with the big windows and the nautical vibe here, the fishermen and all of the tile work here. When you look at some of the details, it's actually really pretty and really well done. Something that you might wanna look into is actually the specialty dining package. So on a cruise like this, where you might wanna enjoy some hooked, you might wanna enjoy some chops, and then you're like also wanting to try Jamie's Italian. You know, you wanna do all of it, you can actually purchase the specialty dining package, make sure that you get all of it and you could do lunch and dinner. And with that, you can do it multiple times. So that's a definite fun perk if you're looking to experience all of their delicious food in different restaurants throughout your cruise multiple times. Schooner 
Honor Bar. This is a fun spot if you enjoy live music with the piano. Also, this is a common spot for trivia. Schooner Bar has some specialty drinks as well that are really kind of fun. So if I would have to recommend a drink, I would recommend that you try the lavender daiquiri there. That's something that I enjoy. If you walk on through the Schooner Bar here, we are going to move on through into Casino Royale. Let's go check it out. Okay, now we are at deck three. This is Studio B. If you are interested in ice skating, you're gonna wanna check this out. Not only do they have a professional ice skating show on board here in the ice rink, it is spectacular. Really enjoy it, don't miss it. But you can also do ice skating on your own. So if you're willing to skate up and lace up, you can uh, just wear your long pants and you bring your socks and you can do so here. They have hours for that as well. Also here in deck three, right outside of Studio B is the photo gallery and also the art gallery. So this is where you can scan your CPASS card and use all of these kiosks to see all the different photos that you have taken throughout your cruise, your dining room photos, your embarkation photos, and capture all of those memories and I have an opportunity to take those home. Something to note is that here on the promenade, you can get some great views, enjoy all of the fresh air, and it is also the smoking area for anyone who is looking. There's a couple different smoking areas out on the ship here, designated smoking areas. This is one of them, just so you can know if that does apply to you and you're wondering. You can't do it out on your balcony, so this is something for you to make a mental note of. But I want to thank you guys so much for joining us here on this ship tour. If you have specific questions about the Navigator of the Seas, I can't wait to answer them in the comments down below. I love this ship, so I hope you enjoyed this ship tour. Let me know what else you want to see. I'm so happy that you are here a part of this community subscribed and liking the videos so i appreciate you more than you know thank you so much for watching and until next time ciao for now